Well, here's my new Agilent oscilloscope, InfiniVision 3000 model. The bandwidth is one right now. It's a hundred megahertz bandwidth, subject to change. All I have to do is, for a little bit of money, I can download and the key to unlock. And this, uh, I can get this all the way up to a gigahertz if I had the money. This is Agilent. And my iPhone is not autofocusing for some reason. Tap on the screen there. Huh. There it is. Go over to the shuttles. Uh. This has a maximum sample rate of two gigasamples per second with a maximum um, update rate of one million waveforms per second. That's right, you heard me, one million waveforms per second. Typical scopes nowadays, nowadays have 50,000 waveforms per second. The old scopes had 2,500 waveforms per second. This is a million waveforms per second. That's why it cost me so much money. It has eight or sixteen, I should say, digital um, timing channels. This thing also has a onboard waveform or wave gen built in 20 megahertz function arbitrary waveform generator. Our built in. Let's see, I'll get a See if I can get a picture of that. This iPhone is supposed to be auto focusing. 20 megahertz. Auto focus. It also has an integrated digital voltmeter. Let's see if I. There's the DVM. Right now, channel. Four is connected to the DVM. It has run stop single acquisitioning, segmented memory. This thing has auto probe interface, power analysis, advanced waveform math. Um, the list goes on and on and on all kinds of features autofocus let's see if I can get this thing to measure yeah this iPhone 4 I don't know I'm gonna get the iPhone 5 I think this thing just doesn't want to like to autofocus for some reason There it is. Four channel. Four giga samples per channel. One hundred waveforms. One, excuse me, one million waveforms per second, as I stated earlier. And again, the next upgrade, it'll be a. Uh, it'll be. Uh, 100 megahertz more than this, or 200 megahertz. Then I'll go from there to 350, then to 500, then to 1 gigahertz. I'll have a, hundred, a 1 gigahertz oscilloscope. Autofocus. Boy. InfiniVision. DSO. Right now I'm looking at a couple of waveforms, and I've got the math function. Here's the math function. And as far as the math function is concerned, the operator there's FFT.
Now I'm adding those two waveforms. Subtracting them. You can multiply, you could divide. FFT. Here's FFT. What's spectrum analyzer? Yep, the scope also has a spectrum analyzer. I mean, the scope just goes on and on and on. A lot of functions. I can take the integral of the derivative of these two sine waves. Well, that's a little bit of the scope. Um, not much, but it's hard to adjust the scope and hold this iPhone at the same time. One million waveforms per second, though. It's just outrageous. Here's my CIE Cleveland Institute of Electronics. Let me get a picture of that. There's Cleveland Institute of Electronics. This is their personal lab trainer. Right now I'm running an experiment. This is, um, don't let the number of components fool you. Very little complicated little circuits. It's automatic volume control. It's going to be connected between the output of my audio card and my computer and my amplifier speaker combination. It does a very good job. Very good job. I like that. And here's my other part of my peripheral. Paraphernalia, excuse me. Voltmeter, fluke. Here's my computerized calculator from Texas Instrument. It's what I've been using for several years now. Beautiful. iPad. And I wish this phone would autofocus, but it just... I don't know. i get the iPhone 5. Hopefully, here's my other computer. Let's see. There we go. There it is. And my other computer. I also have another computer down here. And I have another one over here. Yeah, five computers. I got another one in the other room. But that's the extent of it. That's and then I'll go, yeah, func another function generator. Alright. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.